so yeah another role i was left out in this in this landscape entirely it's uh, augmented and virtual reality let's talk about that a bit uh so what is augmented reality uh, uh so augmented reality is uh, it overlays digital information on the real world so it's a very you know precise uh, in a compilation of of description i tried to make it's just a single line overlaying any digital information talking about it can be a text image 3d model okay uh, uh, on the real world scenario and to experience that you have to have a smart device a smart device which supports augmented reality how many of you are exposed to uh, augmented reality i uh, just want to know they just say yes no you can plot through the chat and i'll get your input from there okay uh, so yeah if you if you haven't experienced it you can download google lens i think it it gives us some bit of experience as a uh, in, in augmented reality terms you can download 3d models and see there and if you are shopping from also from flipkart and other stuff you can see there's a that's a in a feature of seeing you know, what are you going to buy uh, in terms of furniture you can you can see it in the augmented reality and see it in the uh, in your own space where it fits or not so the applications are endless so i'll give you some glimpses that uh, you see uh, so in in this uh, in this example you can see that uh, that you can overlay you know any sort of information talking about the picture uh, image photo 3d model okay and you can try out different things uh, uh in your space own space scanning the space and you know putting uh, the digital information on top of that so that's augmented reality so this is one example this is another example where we are uh, where uh, we are using augmented reality to develop you know some of the learning contents of, uh, for the uh, you know in uh, manufacturing and other industry talking about you you got a uh, talking about the industry or uh, what kind of content is that is uh, if you are from mechanical or civil or uh, electrical if you see uh, suppose it's a uh, it's a cnc machine or or cnc fiber steel cnc machine which you have never seen you can uh, if you if someone have developed a content around it you can take your tablet or mobile phone there and when you are focusing on your machine and it, it can give you exact tutorial how to operate it and also in uh, at the time of maintenance if something is failing there and remotely a person have to come there go there and they have to you know uh, fix the thing uh, but they can do it uh, over the, over the, over the, over a call where they can you know uh, uh, put some annotations around it and see how you can actually uh, troubleshoot it and make the machine work um uh, so yeah so this is another another uh, uh example which is a very popular game uh, can you name this game what is the game uh i i hope uh, most of you have played the game this is called pokemon go game and it's a it's a augmented reality game and it's also a location based game okay so if you haven't played it available you can go and uh, still play uh, so there's a very fascinating thing around okay so it's augmented reality and now let's talk about virtual reality so virtual reality is a immerses player or user in a completely digital environment so talking about being immersed in a uh, digital environment you have to have a uh, hmd which is a head mounted device you have to wear that device to get immersed into that uh, uh, world okay so talking about metaverse virtual realm realms partial computing the every terms that you are hearing here and there uh, that relates to this virtual reality and augmented reality and uh, talking about that you can see it uh, it's very extensively used in uh, medical because in some of the fields we got in the world where you cannot actually afford to make any mistake like medical like uh, aerospace and other stuff uh, where you know the level of errors has to be zero and you cannot get a lot of time to experiment there 
So what do you do? You can use the power of virtual reality and um, you can develop content for that actual uh, actual uh, experiment or any sort of thing that you're trying to do. And uh, the player who plays it actually get immersed into that. And uh, it's it's like a, it's most, mostly it's 60 to 7% real world interaction. You can give haptic feedbacks, okay, gloves, so many things are there which uh, you can you know design your content around and this is another game called beat saver uh, it's a very popular game um, uh, it's like uh, music that keeps on playing and you have to hit these beats with your two you know star uh, star wars like uh, you know razors and uh, it will play a bit okay so you miss anything the bit counts goes down and uh, it's also not limited to this sort of thing, it's also it also gives you power to connect your devices. Talking about you know IoT and industrial IoTs, where you can operate a remote machine from being somewhere else. Uh, how many of you guys have seen Wakanda Forever movie or uh, Black Black Panther movie, basically, where uh, Suri drives a remote vehicle from her space, and Black Panther is actually uh, being riding on that car. It's a it was Audi car maybe. Uh, how many of you have seen that movie? And if you haven't seen that, if you haven't observed what's going on, go back and watch that movie. Okay. So yeah, so it, virtually you can do a lot of things. It's the world is connected to the cloud computing and a lot of other things. Uh, things are getting more uh, immersive and engaging nowadays. Okay, so the uh, possibilities are endless. Not all that. So uh, now we look into what other industries. So we know game development industry, right? We are the consumer. We play a lot of games, and uh, there are different level of uh, players are there. Like kids, they like hyper casual games. We like, you know, sports games, RPG games. Uh, the most of you, I am thinking that you're, you know, mostly the uh, five ten years above or below my age. So we we play a lot of sports games, RPG games, and and uh, shooting games. This genre and uh, play. And the people above us, like elders, they play a lot of you know board games like chess and everything, uh, Sudoku, those sort of games. So we know the game, the game industry, because we are the consumers. Now talking about augmented and virtual reality, we still we are the consumers, but there are special uh, kind of industries who are extensively using augmented and virtual reality. Let's see what are those industries. So one is in uh, video game industry. So in, in this video game development, virtual and augmented reality industry, particularly virtual and augmented reality industry who develop the film and animation, uh, anima animation and film industry. So talking about, uh, uh, you know, a lot of games you're going to see in the uh, next, you know, uh, five, 10 years. Netflix is uh, worked on this. They're still in prototype mode, but you're going to see it in uh, within you know, three to five years. It's coming out with a, uh, where you can, you will be, uh, playing a role or kind of you can uh, you can experience it's not like you're watching a movie right now it's like experiencing a movie it's going to be it will be you know placed inside a movie and you'll, you'll be seeing that you know uh, the uh, the scene that you have seen on a flat screen uh, but, uh, but it will be turned into a 360 degree immersive experience well, you'll be saying that. okay then architecture and interior design this is a very common one uh, people are from uh, a civil uh, uh, civil department. They know that you design a 3D model, right? Anyway, for your customer, for, for whether you are, you are designing a building entirely duplex or designing an interior for your client. Once you have a 3D model, if you know how to develop a game, the pipeline is similar. Okay, uh, but in 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 a game development, what do we do? In the game development, we need to think of you know more of challenges, more of rewards, and those sort of stuff. But for this kind of design, you just need to know the basics: how you can play around a three D model, and how can import those three D model, and you can build experience around it so that uh, your customer, who you're uh, you know supposed to serve with photos and videos, you can give them an augmented and virtual reality experience. Okay. Then product design and manufacturing. So uh, this is another ex exciting field. Uh, giving, uh, I'm just trying to think of an example like, um, like uh, Tata, Nexon, EB, 
is coming or tata avanya is coming nobody have seen it in the real world but when you are going to their uh, you know showroom uh, as um, in some of the some of the cities they actually have a virtual reality headset there and they have developed contents to actually uh, experience the product okay you can also search it on the web that you know uh, uh, 3d gallery of tata cars 3d gallery of hyundai cars 3d gallery of kia cars okay any 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 car company you search for it you'll get get to see volkswagen skoda any any anything you name for search for a 3d experience zone you, you'll get to see that on the web browser how they have designed it and it's all 3d okay so it's, it's on it's on uh, you know marketing part of it but the, in the product design when they design the actual car talking about uh, it's the, uh, wanted to see it's how the colors are matching to the environment or interiors and how a, 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 a customer are going to feel before manufacturing it they actually do a lot of r&d in uh, in background you already know that and in that r&d phase they are using augmented and virtual reality to you know make perfections in their product okay it's a, uh, whether it's a car industry but it's a car, i mean it's automotive industry aerospace industry where it's uh, you know any sort of industry you, you go there and see who are at the top of their products they are using virtual reality to perfect their product then yeah advertising and marketing the, the first uh, example that i uh, i was trying to give as a from a uh, you know um, a car showroom point of view but still you can think of a many other like augmented reality you are scanning a coca cola can and uh, you are the lucky winner of something like that okay and also there are you know pokemon go cards and there are uh, there are so many things are there like uh, you know power cards of football players like that you know uh, so there are a lot of game and uh, um, and also it's gamified to have you engage with augmented reality for their marketing campaigns and all that uh then education and e learning it's very much used i don't want to dig deep into that we already know how uh, if you if you know the power of it you may think of you know many of the things that what can be done in education and e learning uh, with augmented and virtual reality technology then simulation and training We're talking about uh, you know aeroplane training uh, pilot training basically uh, uh, aeroplane pilot training it's been ages decades uh, people are being trained with a simulator there now nowadays because of the technologies that we have it things are getting more complex it's so complex that it it's into a device right now so you wear it and you are getting into a simulated environment and you can play around uh, with your ship with your aeroplane and everything you can get get yourself trained there get uh, get your you know mistake you know perfected there you know we can play any time from anywhere you know that facility is also there the, the cost reduction is also there a lot of things are there on the simulation and training okay so the, as i told you that there are, there are, you know there is areas in the world where you have you 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 cannot afford to have mistakes so in those areas you need to get your people trained rigorously so for a rigorous training you can also cannot burn a lot of fuel in terms of aerospace or uh, or a ship so what do you do you put them into a simulation and they get trained in that so uh, yeah so there's one area and mobile app development again and medical visualization as we're saying so these are the industries that are using augmented or virtual reality and and uh, why i'm Tell, i am telling you about this industry because once you learn game development it's your uh, your job opportunity or the you know market opportunity or entrepreneurship opportunity is not limited to a game development industry also you know expands to this industries as well